Okay, let's find some vertical asymptotes and removable discontinuities if we have any. So when we're given functions, these rational functions, what you always wanna do is kind of start out and just factor whatever you can first. So we're gonna start out with x minus two over x squared minus four. I believe we can factor that denominator. So x minus two over difference of squares here, and this is gonna be x minus two times x plus two. Next up, let's go ahead and put this in lowest terms. So to put it in lowest terms, what you wanna do is think to yourself, okay, we have an x minus two in the numerator and an x minus two in the denominator. Now these aren't quite equal, so I'm not gonna say they're equal to each other, but in lowest terms, you can rewrite this as one over x plus two. All right, so the domain, you can't plug in either positive two for this factor or negative two for this other factor, but let's identify which one's gonna be a vertical asymptote, which one's gonna be a removable discontinuity. So first of all, our vertical asymptotes. All right, so a vertical asymptote is after you get into lowest terms, whatever value you could plug in here um, that would make the denominator be zero, that's where your vertical asymptote's gonna be. So if we plugged in an X value of negative two, that would make this denominator be zero. Therefore, it's a vertical asymptote for the entire function. Next up, we have a removable discontinuity. All right, we do end up with a removable discontinuity on this one because that comes from whenever you have this common factor between numerator and denominator that you cancel. So remember, if you plugged in a positive two in for this factor, it would have made the denominator be zero. So it's still not in the domain. We're not allowed to get a point on our graph at x equals two. Instead, it's gonna be this removable discontinuity or sometimes we call this a hole in the graph for not being quite as precise. Um, let's locate exactly where that's gonna be on our graph. So what we wanna do is take this X value and plug it into the lowest terms uh, version of this same function. So that would be one over, we're gonna plug in a two for our X value plus two. And this is gonna be our Y value that comes out is gonna be one fourth. So the whole or the removable discontinuity will have an X value of two and a Y value of one fourth. And it's just gonna be indicated by a little open circle in the middle of our graph, a hole in the graph. All right, let's work one more of these with a little bit more complicated looking um, rational function. But how I would get started on this is very, very similar. What I would do is do a bunch of factoring, factor the numerator, factor the denominator. So to start out in the numerator, it looks like a difference of squares. So it can be X plus five, X minus five. For our denominator, to get started on this, I'm gonna start with a common factor. They all have X's in common. Remove that and that'll leave us with X squared minus six X plus five. And I believe we can do a little bit more factoring here. Let's bring the numerator along, bring the X on the outside along, but then I think we can split this up into two factors. I know it has to be x and x to make the x squared. For a five, it has to be one and five. Now, when I combine these together, I want it to make a negative six. So I'm gonna make them both negative. So x minus one and x minus five. All right, as far as the domain goes, I wouldn't wanna plug in a zero, a one or a five or else they would make the denominator equal zero. Um, so none of those values are in the domain. I do notice in this that we have an X minus five in the numerator and an X minus five in the denominator as a common factor. So if I wanted to put this into what we refer to as lowest terms, that's when you cancel out that common factor numerator and denominator in lowest terms, this looks like X plus five over X multiplied by X minus one when the X minus fives get canceled. So next, let's finish this up by identifying any removable discontinuities. Or that's a hole in the graph and any vertical asymptotes. All right, so removable discontinuity is when you can remove a factor between numerator and denominator. So I'm looking over here at the X minus five, you're gonna get a removable discontinuity and an X value of positive five and you're gonna get vertical asymptotes from lowest terms whenever the denominator would be zero. So zero for this X, 
will produce a vertical asymptote and x equals one for this other factor here. Last thing we wanna do is locate exactly where is this removable discontinuity or where is this hole? Now we know an x value of five, but we don't know a y value to go with it. So let's finish this up by plugging into the lowest terms version of this with our five. So we can say, you see our y value is gonna be given by five plus five over five times five minus one, replace each of these X's in the lowest terms version with fives. So this would be a Y value of 10 over five times four, or 10 twentieths, which will be at one half. So we have the ordered pair five comma one half. If we were to graph this, that would be a hole in the graph. Everything else would be the exact same, except for this would get a little hole in our graph at that place. Also, our vertical asymptotes, both at x equals zero, uh, the y-axis, and x equals one. Hope this helps out as you're working on locating um, discontinuities, both removable discontinuities and vertical asymptotes. Good luck.